one of the beautiful things about working in the round is you get to rethink how you show the audience design because what we're used to is like a little uh, you know, renaissance painting, a little forced perspective box where you have scenery. There's no scenery in here and there can never really be scenery because if there were scenery, you wouldn't see, you know, you couldn't see since it's in the round. <laughs> so, um, so, so what you can do is you can work from below and above, which is a beautiful way of dealing with design. So one of the things we put a lot of time into is the floor, which is kind of like if you sliced the house that Allison grew up in, if you sliced the whole house off and you just kept the floor. So you can sort of see this is where the fireplace would be. You can see this fireplace bricks and the tiles where might be in the, in the vestibule when you come in, things like that. And, the, uh, uh, and then um, from below the floor, we have, well, this looks extremely simple, but really below me is like, it's like transformers down there. Where it's like there's so much technology underneath the stage that when I, can't, I can't go down there and get kind of scared of that they're gonna like come alive and strangle me. So what winds up happening in the show is the, the, these objects, this, these are you know, real things from Allison's childhood, you know, like if you're sitting in that seat, you, you uh, have the opportunity to really know what books he read and his obsession with obelisks and things like that. Um, and, uh, and, and these objects kind of start at, in a big pile in the corner and wind up moving through the space uh, uh, at sort of swirling around as the memories come alive. And then at some point when things get kind of more dramatic in the later portions of the show, they all go away, and we have this very stark, empty stage, and uh, and and you feel like it's about the performers and their relationship with with this house, and then in the in the uh, for those of you who've seen the show, the the sort of culminating scene of the piece is um, when a, a college age Allison returns to her childhood home, and it and. and and, and there's a feeling of what that, what that home, what that place is like, that you sort of see it for the first time as an audience. You've been watching these, these objects and they all sort of become the space for the first time late in the show. And when we do that, we have, we have all of the furniture from the house on uh, lifts down in technology land down there and they all float up through the floor. So actually this whole floor is a series of automation lifts and it brings everything so that there's this moment where things descend from the grid and things come up from below and all of a sudden the space is transformed from an empty room filled with a, a, a junk pile to Allison's home. Um, uh, and, and it's a, and I think a really uh, unique and, and great use of the space and, and we're very lucky to have a lot of real estate down there so that, you know, Allison wasn't writing about mi miniature objects, so we've got a piano and a chaise and a coffin and all sorts of things running around the space, so uh, they wind up, they wind up in, in a, wind up really filling this little, this little area downstairs. What beautifully happens after this house comes alive is it, it's able to, to go away, and you're left just with Allison and her drawing table. And sort of for the first time in the show, you you, you get to you get to stay with her, and you get to see uh, one of the images from the book at the very end of the piece, uh, which is the only time we use the Allison's work, and it and it sort of end, ends the piece in a beautiful way. Um, and so now that I've given you, given away everything about the production, um, uh, you can decide, you know, whether whether or not to, to come to come see it or just trust my my vision of it. But um, it, it, uh, there's some stuff we haven't teched yet, so we have four more days of tech to invent new ideas. So you might come see the show just so you can see what I come up with in the next four days that I haven't told you about now.